So I have the tapioca pearls here, and I'm starting to make my bubble tea. I'm a little bit nervous because the consistency of the tapioca balls uh, seems off. <laughs> I would expect them to be sort of either very hard or uh, squishy, but instead they're very sort of powdery. And I don't know if they're just the wrong kind for tea or if they are old. <laughs> they were vacuum packed in that bag. Um, so I'm not sure what it would be. I tasted this powder and it, it is definitely not good. Um, so I'm, I'm boiling them as, as I read online, may or may not help. Um, but they, I guess they're meant to be cooked. And so uh, maybe the boiling process gives them the consistency that we're used to in the tea. But we'll see. So they've been cooking for about 10 minutes now and they're turning this sort of boogery color that uh, is looking at more and more like it's getting squishy rather than powdery. So we'll see. Okay, so after boiling them for 25 minutes and letting them soak for 25 minutes, they are ready to come out of the pot. You see there's a uh, a little bit of color to them. They've uh, mostly gone transparent, um, but there's a little bit of red and a little bit of green in there, and a very appetizing, oozy look to them. <laughs> so I'm going to let them uh, drain a little bit, uh, maybe in the refrigerator because they're supposed to cool before I put them in the drink, <laughs> and then we'll see if they live up to the incredible flavor standards set at the actual bubble tea places. So you can see they're looking scrumptious now, uh, just cooling off in the fridge. So now I have dissolved four tablespoons of the fruit latte mix into hot water. And it has turned from a sort of whitish pink color to a coffee brown and in a few more minutes I'm supposed to add some ice to this and then I'll add the cooled tapioca pearls and have my first taste. Alright so here we go I have the tea I had to move it into a bigger mug um, and the chilled and still horrifyingly gelatinous tapioca pearls and we'll see how well they uh, slide into the jar. Oh, it's not so bad. Looking uh, not necessarily yummy, but at least not sticking to the colander here. I think that's probably more than enough. <laughs> mm. Well, it's. You can see they're sort of happily resting at the bottom. A few remnants floating to the top, which makes me even less excited about putting the straw in there, but got my big purple straw and I'm ready to go. Also meant to put a cup of ice in here, so just to make sure I am increasing the chances that it's how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna add some ice. I'm guessing that will melt a little bit and water down the tea um, as well as cool off the drink. Um, so I think I'll wait a couple minutes and then give it a try. Alright, I really have uh, put a, a surprising amount of thought into whether or not I want my first sip to be on the camera or not, but I figure there's no harm in recording it. I can always uh, just edit it out of the final video. Um, it's definitely a certain amount of nervousness that goes along with reaching for the straw. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, the texture is <laughs> so similar to what we've had in the bubble tea shops, but with sort of an an even more pervasive sort of gooiness surrounding the tapioca pearls. So 
I don't know how much more I'm going to drink. I'm, I'm going to be let it cool off. You can see the uh, ice is, is melting. Uh, the drink is still a little bit warm. So uh, maybe I'll throw in some more ice and see if it gets better as it gets cooler. But I'm not optimistic. I tried another uh, sip or two and <laughs> the results were very similar. I can't decide which is more disgusting, the flavor of the tea or the texture of the tapioca. Uh, but suffice it to say, I will probably not be making any more bubble tea. Uh, maybe I'll bring the ingredients back to Seattle with me and, and share them <laughs> with you next time. Uh, idea was great. It was fun to make, but, uh, but the result perhaps not quite as, uh, as happy as the preparation.